Stephen Akana, brand manager for Code Vein. What are we doing here today? We are checking out the tutorial in Code Vein to see a little bit about some of the uh, gameplay nuance and the blood codes that you're able to switch. Gotcha. Blood codes in Code Vein, it's basically like your character class. With Code Vein, you can switch your character class at any time. If you hit a difficulty wall, you can go ahead, and open up your palette to be able to switch different blood codes. <laughs> um, and each of those different blood codes has uh, different attributes that it will affect your main character. Switching the blood code also switches the types of gifts you have can you kind of go into what the gifts do and how they help you out in battle? Gifts are like your spells and tactics. So you can use them as different types of attacks towards your enemies. There's uh, buffs that you can have that will affect you and your partner character. There's a uh, resurrection that you can have, which is probably one of the most clutch gifts that are out there because if your partner ends up dying, you can resurrect them on the spot within a small window and vice versa. Uh, another one of the cool traits with the game is that all of your physical attack weapons Mm -hmm. All of them are basically, they're stationary except for your bayonet, which allows you to be able to shoot off a shot against enemies using a one eye core. So if you wanted to be able to focus on a blood code where it gives you mostly buffs and physical attacks, but then you also want to have the benefit of some distance reach, you can uh, equip your bayonet and uh, utilize it in that sort of sense. It's a great ranged weapon, but it also doesn't have that much attack damage. <laughs> so you have to think about that balance of if you're going to be utilizing that weapon that if you want to you know pop off sure a couple shots slip. and then run in and start slashing at people that you need to be mindful that you're not going to have as much power as say a one-handed or two-handed sword yeah it makes sense to like swap it out to, like take a few shots and then swap out to something heavier can you talk a little bit more about the gifts i noticed we just recently used a bloodshot gift what is that used for I use it as a lure for enemies to be able to draw aggro from, say, if you see a group of five enemies that are just waiting, uh, waiting for your approach, you can use that shot to be able to identify one of them and draw them away from the group so that you can slowly pick off your enemies rather than having to fight the whole group all at once, which can be uh, pretty overpowering. Okay. Let's get into some of the blood veils, actually. I wanted to check some of those out. There's four different types of blood veils that are within the game. So there's the ogre style, which is a, a gauntlet that goes on your hand. It has kind of a, an average range attack. There's the stinger type, which is the tail. A lot of images of Mia shows uh, Mia's uh, also a stinger type. Also um, my favorite. When you switch between the different blood veils, there's always going to be a, a benefit and, and attacks. Hound blood veils are, are very strong, but you need to be really close range to your enemies to be able to, to utilize it. And then the last one is the Ivy style. So Ivy is a, kind of a reconnaissance blood veil where you're able to uh, activate it and utilize it uh, stealthily throughout the throughout the field. It has a really cool um, distance reach for it. I also love the little detail of how it's kind of woven into the clothing itself. So like the, the gauntlet will come out of the arms, the hounds will come out of the shoulder pads, stuff like that. It's so cool. There you go. That was Steven, the brand manager for Code Vein. The game is coming out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on September 27th. Make sure you guys check it out. There's still a lot more to this that we haven't shown. We're very excited for you to see more. And uh, until next time, take care.